Today, we're gonna to talk about how to trim a video without using video editing software. It used to be that in order to trim a video down from say a 30 minute surveillance camera video down to a 30 second clip, you needed either special video editing software or you had to send it out to a vendor. But now with Windows 8 or later, you can do that easily within Windows using tools that you already have. Now, first note, uh, we got a different background going on over here. We're working on it a little bit. The camera angle's a little bit different here. Uh, and that's because we're still working on it. So I know we're kind of looking up a little bit and that might be a little bit awkward. We're working on it. This is not the final setup, but this is pretty close, at least close enough for me to shoot a video for this week. And I wanted to make sure I got something out to you guys. Uh, so please uh, bear with me. It's still kind of under construction, but to, edit the video, it's relatively simple. Let's go to my desktop here uh, and I'll show you how we get that done. All right, so on my desktop, I've got this video here and it's a uh, dash cam footage from, I believe either a police car or an ambulance, I'm not sure, I don't really remember. And if you double click on it in Windows, the default is to open up a video in an app called Movies and TV. And if you had this, all you can do is watch the video. That's pretty much it. Let's close this real quick though. And uh, it lets instead, open it with the app that we really want to be working with, which is called Photos. So we'll right click, go to open with, and it should be one of the options that appears right on your computer if you have Windows 8 or later. So click Window Photos, and now when you do that, you'll have the option in the upper right hand corner, we're looking at the same video, the video plays just fine, uh, you have the option to edit and create. And one of the options is trim. So you click on that and now you've got a couple of different uh, slider nubs or handles on the bottom that you could use to cut the beginning and the end of your clip to just where you want it. So let's say this uh, uh, was video camera footage from an incident involving a bicycle. And so we'll kind of cut right to the part where the vehicle approaches the scene of the accident. So we'll bring it there, it already is. So we'll bring it into here and then we'll end it till shortly after uh, it arrives on scene. Right? And it told me as I was uh, clicking before I released that I, it would have gone to a total of a 15 second clip, which the entire video is 27 minutes long, so it's a lot easier to manage. So we'll do that. And then in the upper right hand corner, you have the option to save as or cancel if you don't want to do anything with it. And it always makes you save as rather than right over the original footage, which is also nice. So we'll just save it as the original file name and it adds the suffix trim to it. And then it takes some time for it to chop off the ends that you don't want. And now what I have is a 15 second video that has just the portion of the video that I'm looking for. It's gonna send the new save as image uh, video into pictures uh, in your computer by default, or you could tell it where to save it when you were choosing the file name. So here we go, I'm gonna open that up. And now I have just a 15 second video that has only the portion that I want. So that's gonna be really useful in a number of ways, whether you are getting this video ready to use at a deposition or at a focus group, arbitration, mediation, uh, or other type of proceeding where you just wanna show exactly that portion of the clip. Maybe you wanna send it to an expert. There's a number of ways that you can use this, but now you have the ability very quickly without having to send it to anyone else to trim a video, just like you would kind of like on your cell phone. So if you've ever done that, the process is exactly the same. You get a much smaller clip. It's easier to work with, easier to email around uh, just by bringing in the edges. And the only real trick is to make sure you're switching from opening it in the movies and TV app, which is the default on Windows, to opening it in Photos, uh, which is another app that's also on Windows 8. If you're a Mac person, you can do the same thing using QuickTime. You don't have to use QuickTime Pro. That's how you used to be able to do it. Um, and even in newer Macs, you can use just the regular version of QuickTime. Uh, in the edit menu, there's a trim option and it works just the same way. Uh, and it'll make you save it as a new file, just like we did here. So if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.